Hola amigos and what is up, this is Tales of Fire Rock and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Advance. In the last episode, we surprisingly beat the final boss of the game. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking on some other things. First off, we have to go to my city here because... Well, this might become obvious pretty soon, but... For now, I'm just gonna build the suspense. What could be waiting for us here? It's a room with people and my friends. Well, in this room, you can actually swap out your party members, which is pretty cool, so, uh, one of the things I did want to show off, actually, is I'm gonna put Yang in our party. Look at that health. Look, that is, that is just all kinds of wonderful. Anyway, your party members, every party member except for Cecil, because he's the main character and is required to beat the final boss, can be put into the party and, uh, replaced and such, so... How about we use Yang to replace Edge? And why am I doing this? Well, it'll become obvious right now. Elder! Elder! Oh no. Please calm down and tell me what is going on. Ooh, the mountain. The mountain is covered in a cloud. Weird. Oh, that white mage was like purpley and stuff. Hmm, <laughs> groovy. My city, there's an old legend. When time comes to endure a new trial, a path will appear on the mountain of ordeals. It signifies change, but change of what? I do not know. Am I up to the challenge? I am. Anyway, uh. Now that we've got Yang in the party, I actually want to... You know what, it would probably be a good idea to save the game as well. But let's save it on an alternate slot. Uh... There we go, that works. Right, time to go to Mount Ordeals. And... What does this change signify? I wonder, I wonder, I wonder... Man, I didn't never realize how long the path to the mountain was. Hmm, <laughs> weird. You'd think I'd know that, but I learn new things every Ooh, that's ominous. That is too spooky for me. Three spooky, five me. It's going to appear. Ooh. 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 Hmm, looks like a new, a new door opened up. So, uh, let's continue on our merry little quest of violence here, and let's do a kick just for good old time's sake. Man, that does not deal a lot of damage at all. Yeah, it doesn't really matter though, because Yang is still going to be useful to us in this new area we've opened up. Can we run away from you, Mr. Snake Lady? Mr. Lady? And what is going on here? Oh no! Step inside if you wish to test yourself. Okay, so this is the Cave of Trials. It's, um... Interesting? This is a new place that they opened up in the uh, Game Boy Advance version of the game, and it's in the PSP version of the game as well. It's not present in the DS version, because the DS version just hates everything. But this has a lot of enemies from somewhat mid-game dungeons, like uh, Cave of Summons, Sylph Cavern, uh, Sealed Cave and such. So we've got that going for it. <laughs> Most of the enemies here shouldn't really pose too much of a threat, though. Yang is at, at a little bit of a disadvantage because he has really, really high strength, and I'm in, like, really high strength. Like, look at that. But his attack kind of falls flat on its face when... Oh, well, Kane has... He's got about as much attack power as Kane, so... He's also got a lot less defense. 
he's not gonna be doing Cecil damage right now, but eh. You never know. Maybe we'll get like a new What is the point of this? Yeah, never mind. King Nagas! Nope. Don't like snakes. Oh, that's something. I really don't like snakes. Go, go away, Mr. Snake person. I don't I don't like you. You're green and reptilian and could possibly be an attorney. Uh, again, oh, well, this is a preemptive strike, so I don't see much reason not to just sink right in. Other than the fact that it adds time to the video, which I'm pretty certain a lot of you will probably be angry about. And we can only handle Tales of Iraga for like five seconds. Videos longer than five seconds aren't good at- Ah, there's probably like treasure down here too. Hold on. Gotta confirm, no. How disappointing. How... How... How many pointless areas are there? This is like an eight floor dungeon too, so... Cave of... Cave of Snakes. There, there's our video title for tonight. Cave of Snakes. Probably only going to get to uh, recording one little bit of Cave of Trials and per episode and stuff, so... Uh, okay, so for now on, I think... Oh, well, if, if it's gonna keep on getting me pre preemptive strikes, I mean, eventually I'm gonna have to start cutting this shit out, but I mean... We are just doing, like, a lot of damage, like... They're doing, like, the opposite- Oh, Hold on. Remedy! Okay, that was worth my while. Great, now this part of the video is probably just going to be, like, walk a few steps, and then suddenly cut. Walk a few steps, and cut. Walk a few steps, and cut. Uh... Is there something up here, actually. So let's walk a few steps. Walk a few more. Maybe I should be, like, not running away from these battles. Phoenix down. That's quite alright. Uh, what's in here? Sorry, I'm kind of doing this cavern for the first- Ah, oh, there's like a thing and invisible walls and- Oh, this is just crazy. Why don't I remember this dungeon? Does the layout of this place, like, change depending on who you've got in your party or something? Like, because there's, like, so much that I see but I can't have. Stairs. Oop. And another remedy. Alright. Ooh, there is a path here. And it leads to a funny map. Funny mask? Is that a Yang thing? It... Is? So, um... Okay. Okay. Funny mask, uh... Hata no Kokoro tries to go for stand-up comedy, that always works well. Probably slightly reduce the damage of that, I mean... I don't know, I wasn't really get- Yang wasn't necessarily getting hit in the first place, so I mean... It's hard to say. Man, that holy lance for Kane, though, like, he was doing 9,999 in the back row. That's ridiculous. So there must be, like, another way to get to... Wherever... There's like... Like over here and such, but I don't see like an entrance or anything. Uh, screw it, we're, we're already in it. May as well win it. They wouldn't put the path here though, but the, no they wouldn't. Okay, Square Enix does make good games sometimes then, okay. Oop, and there's another path over here with a treasure chest. We can get that later, but for now... Hello, lady, and late and other lady, and bats. At least an interesting enemy for once, so I'm in... Well, I say interesting, it's all gonna, like, crater as soon as I cast Fyraga, but I mean... Interesting in the fact that it resembles a person. Which is always nice, if people came from the ceiling, and were naturally that pale. 
So basically, they're an upside-down female version of me. Hmm, weird. And just like me in real life, if you light me on fire, I kind of die from it. So I don't suggest lighting me on fire. Because as much as I'd like to say otherwise, I kind of like living. Just a little bit. Go over here, red cap. Is that another Yang thing, or...? No, it is not. Uh, I guess that's for Edward, then. Woo! Cottage! Neat. Wow, we are, uh... This place is a lot bigger than I remember it. Basement 5... Wow, this is just... I realize now that, uh... No, never mind, I'll save right now. I realize now that Yang's magic defense... Kinda horrible. Kinda. I mean, when you think about it... It's... He... Okay. Alright, so for Blaze, everyone kinda takes like 100 damage, 200 maximum and stuff. Getting hit by Blaze from the Chimera Brains for Yang? 1300. It's kind of ridiculous. Much like the enemies here. Ah, oh, man. Should I do more walking? Do more cutting? Cutting the rug? Ooh. Secret treasure go. Sage's robe? Groovy. That's probably for uh, Palamorporum then. Alright, and so what's down here? Lord's Robe, that's... That wouldn't be for Yang, would it? No, it would not. So, maybe that's another Palom Purum... Thingamadabarama and Lam thing? Kind of doobly flotchy? Yeah, oh, there's something I missed down here too, I think. Uh, it's all the way down there, actually. Hold on, this is gonna take about forever and a day? This is gonna take forever... Okay, Siren. And now, because of that item, watch me teleport to the entrance. Or the exit. Or the area we're supposed to be. Hey, we're here. Okay, cool. And there's still more to this place. And in that battle, Kane kinda turned into a frog. Oh, well, let's have Cecil bail him out of that, because Cecil's not really doing much of anything in terms of magic. So, uh, jeez, man, this this cave is kind of silly. All right, so, uh, man, this has been like the most boring episode ever, and I've said that for the past the past five episodes here. But uh, hey, it's one of these people that summons the dumb spider things. Okay, cool. Neat. Groovy. Actually, after this battle, I'm wondering something. Can I manage to raise Yang's attack power by simply unequipping his items? This might be one of those times when we need to do a little bit of experimental god earthquake. Nope. Nope. Don't like it. Man, spiders just really freak me out. Spiders that cast earthquake, too? Those guys are just the worst. Now, there's a hole over here. Well, hold on, let's check Yang's stats, actually. Remove. Remove. Okay. It's a little bit weird. Equipping his items doesn't- unequipping his items doesn't actually change his stats. Just makes him not wear items. No, Grand Helm wouldn't be for him. Grand Helm would be for Sid, I think. Okay, I see another uh, door here. Yeah, screw it, let's go in. Cave of Trials, basement 7 floor, so... 
Uh, there's like items to the left of me, items to the right, here I am. Okay, well, random encounters ruining my moment. Megalixer, well, have we actually seen a Megalixer yet? Uh, basically that- Basically that's an- Basically, it's an elixir that heals the entire team. Great, fan fucking fantastic Another mega elixir. It's like me, they, they expect me to have some use in these things. Well, I guess I can't complain too much. Cave of Trials, basement floor eight. Uh, so what I want to do here actually is... Oh, the harp music is playing, like the Edward harp music theme thing. That's kind of neat. So, we've got a disembodied hand right here. Can't save. Guess what this means. Must endure the first test to your strength and endure the trial. Okay. Well, what are we going to be trialing against, I wonder, I wonder? It's a dragon! Groovy. And this is the Storm Dragon. He is the first boss we're going to be fighting in the Tower... Or not Tower, the Cave of Trials. And... hold on. Okay, excuse me for a second there, my controller disconnected. So, uh, oh, that actually dealt a lot of damage to, like, everyone. Well, crap. I certainly wasn't expecting that. I mean, I was expecting it to deal some damage, but, like, not, like, that much. That was kind of crazy pants, crazy sauce. Well, it's better than what Tornado, uh, usually does, which is... Reduce party members to extraordinarily low health. Well, I guess in a nutshell, that's kind of what it did in that case, too. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, let's get full life on Rydia. I believe she's also going to revive on her turn as well, so... Maybe ATP get- yes! There we go. And she's probably going to die again. Nope, that was substantially weaker. Wow. That was like a lot, a lot weaker. I like that. Wh why can't his uh, attacks be more like that? I mean, that... I appreciated that. And, I don't know, for one of the optional bosses, Storm Dragon here really isn't that much to talk about. He's got somewhat high health, but it... Well, I say that, but it's really on par with the uh, lunar subterrain enemies, so I mean... The only thing that's really obnoxious about him is casting Maelstrom every now and then, but... Even then, that's nothing that we haven't already seen, I don't think. I don't know, have we seen Maelstrom, actually? Uh... I... can't remember, actually. I thought that, uh, Barbaricia, maybe, uh... Ooh, that did a lot. Uh, Barbarissia might have used it on us. I think the, uh... Uh, behemoth enemies are also supposed to counter magic with them, but... We've always used summon magic on them, so I... Can't be too sure. Anyway, Storm Dragon's dead. And... Obtained Hand of the Gods. God Hand! Yes, we're gonna be playing some God Hand here. And with that, we can equip it. And Hand of the Gods, Claw Immersed in Holy Power. Doesn't look like much at first. But, uh... Trust me, it will be something? Hopefully, um... Hold on, check status. Oh, strength is maxed out, that's cool. Alright. But, I guess I can go with that. I guess. Well, I think that about does it for a sampling taste-me-do of what the Cave of Trials is all about. So, in the next episode, I believe we're going to be doing the trials for Edward and Sid, maybe. I don't know, we're just going to see how it all pans out. But until then, this is Tense for August signing out. Thank you all for watching. 
Gee golly fuck do I have a lot to cut out.